But right now, it is a second date update, and we are trying to help out Andrew. He really wants to see this girl, Nicole, again. So yeah. we're going to try to set them up on another date and see if we can make this happen right now. Uh, we were able to track down Nicole and get her on the phone with us. She's agreed to talk to us, so let's talk to her. Uh, Nicole, you there? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Okay. Hey, listen, I know this is a, a little weird and a little strange. Um, we do want to talk to you about a date you went on. Would that be okay if we talked to you on the air? Yeah, I guess. All right. I appreciate that. So we want to talk to you about Andrew, and we heard about your guys' coffee date. I guess you guys work kind of close to each other, and you guys went on a coffee date, and he really wants to take you on a real date and wine and dine you a little bit and can't seem to get those plans nailed down and is very confused right now of why he hasn't heard from you since your guys' date because he thought things went well. He thought that you thought things went well, but nothing's happened since then. So what's going on here? Why are you not getting back to him? Yeah. Sorry, yeah, this is very awkward. I I wish you would have just taken the hint, you know. <laughs> not responding, not interested. Um, but why are you not so interested? She's just not my type at all. Like, um, he's a, he has, like, a very specific uh, thing, you know, stuff in mind, what he wants what he, when he's dating someone, and, and we just do not click. Like what? It's, like what? Um, so it's, it's pretty gross. He, he it, it, our first day in pretty much saying how he's looking for someone, you know, who will, you know, raise his family and be a stay at home mom and won't have to work. And, and at one time he even said like, oh, you're so pretty. You don't, you don't even need to be working. Why are you working? And I'm just like, what? Because uh, I like my job, I worked hard for it. I, you know, I like having my own money. It's 2024. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. It's just, he. It's, he's very old fashioned. It's 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 kind of gross. I okay, guess. so but there are not some women that are like, yeah, I want to be a stay home mom. That's just not you. And that's and that's beautiful for them. But also, like, I don't even know you, boo. Like, why am I ready to? <laughs> and all of a sudden, yeah, I can't wait to give up my job to have your babies. Like, do you know if I even want babies? Like, it's, it was just, yeah, wow. it was yeah. a lot. For it's a pretty serious days. conversation for a first date. Definitely. But I'm glad we went over it because now I'm not wasting my time with him. I'm, do you want babies? I'm looking for. Um, I, I potentially would, but, you know, maybe I would just take some time off and then go back to my career. Maybe he'd be the stay-at-home dad. Like, that's a lot of stuff to talk about and decide. And yeah. He's yeah. already decided it before even finding the, the wife. Okay. All right. I can see totally what you're saying about, like, hey, I got a career right now. I like my job. And someone's suggesting that I just give it up. So I get what you're saying, Nicole. We do have Andrew on the phone with us as well. That's how we got your number. Oh God. So we want to Great. bring him on if it's okay with you. <laughs> okay. All right. Andrew, you there? I'm here. I'm okay. Here. You heard uh, what Nicole had to say. I mean, did you kind of lay it out that way? What I said to her about what I was looking for in a relationship didn't come out of left field. I was very open about it. And it seemed to me like she was nodding her head along like this it wasn't a problem. And telling uh, a prospective partner that, hey, I'm, I'm going to take you away from all of this, usually they, they get excited. Like, this is your chance to win the lottery. I, I'm, if you married me and became my, the mother to my children, you, you would be taken care of. Yeah, I've worked very hard to get where I am in my career. I enjoy it, and I want to continue doing it. And, yeah, it, seems, it just sounds very controlling. And I recognize that you worked it. very hard in your career. And I wish to, like, reward that by give, getting you to the next level, which is, you know... By like making you pregnant. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> that's what we're here for. It's I don't, I don't want to get, like, overly yeah. religious or anything like that, but that's what we're here for. Everyone here is to, you know, make more people and continue this on and on and on and on. Wow. Yeah, so I, I disagree, and we're clearly not uh, a good fit. Why, why couldn't she be adult and say that? on the coffee date or just return one of my many calls or text messages. Like, this is weird that I have to, like, get a radio station to get an answer from you. Oh, no, you called us. You're right. It sure is weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, Andrew, if you've got all this money falling out of your pocket, why don't you just hire a nanny or something then? Let her work. Yeah, I don't, I just, that just seems weird. Like, 
those kids like where you meet the uh, the kid who has a Jamaican accent for no reason. You're like, oh, that's because he's Jamaican. <laughs> 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 yeah, <boy. laughs> Gosh. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to take this, Nicole, that Andrew 100% is not the guy you are looking for. No, not at all. Okay. Andrew, not going to be for Nicole. Could be for somebody else, oh, though. No, I don't think you're going to be single long. A lot right. of girls are going to take you up on that offer. So uh, I do appreciate you both <laughs> coming on with us. You guys have a great day, okay? Yeah, mom. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Wow, I mean that's very specific for a first date to say all that. Yeah, he was—he's actually looking for a certain type of person. But you know what? I mean, it just wasn't her, uh, you know. And there is it definitely a, wasn't. But I just—I can't believe he said that on a first date. I know. I know. That's that's kind of risky. But that's why I brought up the nanny part. I was like, well, then hire a nanny if mm. you know, let her do her job. If you've got all this money, I mean, that's great that he wants to provide for her so she can stay home and raise the kids. That is not an option for a lot of couples these days because it's just too expensive. All right, whose side are you on on this? Did he do anything wrong? Are you cool with what he had to say? 800-992-1099. 800-992-1099.